Hey guys, so there aren't any videos right now on Chord Manager for the Caracorder, so I thought I'd just record a quick one to teach everybody the basics if um, you're finding this intimidating or just getting started. So the first thing about Chord Manager is that it uses a special API that isn't supported by all browsers. Um, it's a great piece of technology, but if you're having any trouble with, with this, um, I suggest using Chrome. Um, I personally like a, a browser called Brave, which doesn't um, work with Chord Manager. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is connect Chord Manager to your device. And um, this window will pop up, go find your Caracorder and pair it. And you'll see there, it'll show you what firmware you're using and how many chords you have. Um, the the next row you mostly won't use this middle row so i'm gonna i'm gonna talk to you about kind of these bottom features if you want to see all the chords in your device um, you can hit download chords and it'll load all these chords and if you watch my scroll bar here you can see this takes a little bit of time um, as it populates row by row each of these chords shows the key presses and then what it what it does and if you want to add more chords, um, and I could do this either having downloaded them or not. In fact, let me show you with, uh, with it as not. Um, here, let's connect. If you want to add more chords, you can just click this Add Chord, chord Map, and this will pop up. Now, let's, uh, let's pick a chord. Let's say I want to create a chord for Chord Manager. Um, so my phrase is going to be chord manager you type in the phrase that you wanted to print out here and then when you press edit chord be ready to do the chord on your device that you want it to do so in this case i'm going to do both interior pinkies so double shift c can i do double shift cm no because cm are right next to each other i don't want to do that diagonal press so um let's see i'm going to do double shift c F, because F is the mirror of M. So, um, so it's it's doing left action stick. I think that I think that this is shorthand for what I just did. So um, you can see that it, it recorded that. Now, um, in order for this to actually work, I need to commit it to my device. Commit is basically the word for save. It's kind of a developer term. And the nice thing about commit is that it doesn't mean you have to save the whole thing. So I showed you earlier how I have 725 chords there. And normally when you think about saving a document, you think I need to have a whole thing. I need to add, a, add something to it. I need to save the whole thing. You don't need to worry about that here. If I commit this chord, um, now I'm sending this to this device. If I then uh, refresh, let's see what my, my chord count looks like, 726. So you see that it, it very easily added that. Now, if you wanna import um, an entire chord library, so let's say um, you go, you know what, this guy, Lamb, he's really smart. I really want all of his chords to be all of my chords. And he was so kind as to export his library as a CSV file by pressing download chords, waiting for that, um, <laughs> waiting for all of them to load, which I didn't do right there, by the way, and then pressing export. Um, what you would do is you would take my file, you would go to import library, and then you would just um, find navigate to that file and click it, and it would bring those chords in. But here's the thing is that you would still need to commit all those chords that you imported either by clicking on them but in this case that probably wouldn't be smart with so many um, you would want to do commit all and this would go through and it would start checking these one at a time and again you would kind of want to wait as it went through the whole list bang 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 might take a little bit of, uh, of time before the device is ready um, also just kind of note that um, your your caracorder is going to reboot, I think, very quickly. Like it takes like a half a second or something after um, the commit. So it's just going to reinitialize, um, I believe, very briefly when you do something like that. Um, so that's kind of how editing chords and viewing chords works. Um, I find that using the command F um, or control F on Windows um, find on this page works well if you're like, I can't remember what the chord is for hand or something like that. 
and uh, you, you can then look up and see what are the different chords that are in there, um, especially if you've um, deviated from the starter library by borrowing someone else's or something like that. Now you have multiple chords for the same words, things like that. You, um, you may want to dig around in here to, to see what you can do. As far as the other commands here, the bootloader, um, reboot and clear clear table. Um, I've ever I've never actually touched touched clear table. It makes me afraid that I'm going to delete all my chords. I believe that if you were doing a foreign language, like let's say I wanted to to set my device up in German, I would um, clear my table and commit all to kind of wipe out all the English and then start again. Um, because when you import something, it doesn't delete; it just adds, right? Um, and if it adds. Of course, if it adds another chord that has the same uh, is the same as a chord you have, it'll override it. But otherwise, it's not going to delete anything. The bootloader is the way that you access your device to update the firmware, and there are instructions on the Discord channel on how to do that. It's pretty simple. You you open the bootloader, and it it your your care recorder pops up as it like a device um, that you can actually navigate to in your folder structure, and then you replace a file. It's it's pretty easy, but Anyhow, that's Chord Manager. Um, once you've committed something um, and it and it's here and it's ready, it's uh, it's good to go. If you ever want to um, delete or something like that, you can also do that here. And so, for my last one, it looks like the the chord that I created for Chord Manager is not at the bottom. It's probably here. It is. Um, so let's say I decided, ah, uh, you know, I really didn't want that chord. I'll go ahead and delete and commit that delete. I just heard in my headphones the sound of um, the Caracorder rebooting, and uh, now we're we're good to go. If I reconnect, we're back to 725.